Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to manage Excel sheet using OpenPY Excel. So first thing is we are going to create a new sheet. Then we will learn how to create a new sheet at a particular position. By default it get added to the last. Third, we are going to rename the sheet name. Fourth, we are going to change the tab color as well as we will learn how to pick a new or any color as per our wish. And fifth one is we are going to copy a existing sheet and create a new one. And finally, we are going to list all the Excel sets available in a workbook. Now, just keep this index value in mind so that uh, it will be helpful. The first sheet it is just like Python list. It will start from 0, 1, 2, 3. And uh, if you will start from the last, then it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Now, while creating the actual sheet, if you provide value as 1, then it will add the new sheet just before that. You can provide any of these value. It will add just before that. Let's say I will say minus 1. Then it, it will add before this one. So that will be second last. We'll see these things in example. Let's first manually perform all these things and then we'll do it programmatically. That way it will be better for us to visualize. So over here you can see we have uh, these two sets over available over here. And then if I wanted to add a new set just by clicking on this plus sign we can add a new set. And then we can see one pattern. Sets are getting added with uh, values like 1, 2, 3. So that is the default pattern what we have then let's say i wanted to create an actual sheet before this one so what do we do go over here and then we do the insert and insert excel sheet that time it will add just before that right so this particular thing we are going to see how we are going to create at a particular position then we are going to rename it let's say new title that way we can rename it let's say to change the tag color so we click on right click on this sheet and then go to the tab color and then we can choose any color from here but if you wanted to do it programmatically that time just go to more options and then go to the custom and over here you see color model it should be rgb then you select any color from here let's say this one this particular value so if i wanted to create a extra shade with uh, this green color then we have to provide this particular value i'm just going to copy this one later i'm going to use it just just copy this hex value and then we have option to copy so over here we can copy the excel set or um, we can say like just just before that so it just copy a new uh, like create a new excel set and then we have all these excel sets over available over here so these things will programmatically perform all these activity using open py excel i have kept the hex value over here later we are going to use this one so let's see this code now so what i have done over here is uh, imported the workbook module over here then created one workbook object and then created uh, worksheet so by default whenever we'll create one workbook one actual sheet will be there and that we can activate using activate function 
now if we wanted to add a new excel sheet for that we have to call this method create a sheet and then we can pass the sheet name and i'm not providing any position over here so by default it's it should get added at last let's run this code and we can validate so excel has been created let's validate and over here you can see this first sheet was created by default and then we added one new sheet which got added at last what do you think now in this code you can see while creating the excel sheet i'm passing position so if i'm, I'm saying like zero position then it should get added at first if i'll say uh, first position then it will get added at the second place because like python list start from zero one like minus one will add it at second last all right let's see we execute this code now let's validate over here you can see we have all these excel sets created first one has been created first and second the second last and last so basically all this order has been maintained over there out of curiosity that I, I just thought like what will happen if i'll pass a position value that will be two large let's say 200 and over here you can see we'll have only five sheets are over over here i'm passing 200 or uh, minus 8888 so in this case what will happen so basically if you are passing a index value which is outside the range and it's in the plus direction then it will get added at, at last so this time it will get added last and this one will get added at first let's run this code and validate So remember last two three and first two three it is the last two three is at last and first two three is at first now let's see like how we can change the excel sheet name so over here the, so this is the default excel sheet and then I'm changing it names to new title. And over here, this is uh, this way we can access any particular actual set. So just pass the workbook object, and then so you just pass the actual sheet name over here. So let's execute this code and see. So over here you can see we have one actual sheet and its uh, name has been changed to new title. Now we are going to change the tab color. And you remember the hex value which we have copied. So let me copy this one and uh, paste it over here value we are providing in this format r g and b so let's rerun the code and see if the tab color gets changed or not
and over here you can see we the tab color has been changed to green now we are going to copy one actual sheet and then we are going to change its name so over here you can see by default we have one actual sheet that one i'm going to copy using copy worksheet method and passing the uh, excel sheet object over here and then for this uh, actual sheet i'm going to change its name to code data and finally I'm going to save this one let's rerun the code and see the output So over here you can see a new excel sheet has been added and its name is code data at last we are going to see all the excel sheet names so there are two methods to print all excel sheets now whether we can use the excel workbook sheets method or uh, we can iterate like this like for set in workbook and print the set dot title let's run this code and see the output and over here you can see we have two excel sheets sheet and code data the same thing i have printed using for loop let's validate and file over here you can see we have these two excel sets so thanks for watching